Hey guys, so I think I may be a day early with this video. I'm not even sure. Um, the last video that I posted was a video that I just had stored um, because I've been sick. I'm sure I'm going to cough during this video. Um, so you'll end up hearing it. But I did want to come on because I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've been using because I'm big on home remedies and you know holistic health instead of antibiotics and you know things like that so this is just some of the stuff I have a picture that I'm gonna attach to the end of this video with almost everything um, but this is just some of the stuff that I could carry in and you know show you guys so yogi tea is something and by the way I'm not sponsored for any of this I wish I was um, immune support and I also love the echinacea which I don't have any more of and the triple echinacea is even better um, <clears throat> I have emergency this is the supplement one um, the immune support is even better but this does what it has to do I guess um, honey which always goes with my tea uh, Bolt House Farms smoothie, which is great for vitamins and minerals and all that good stuff. I have uh, clementines that I eat every day as well. Cayenne pepper. I mix this with lemon juice and water, and I drink about 8 ounces of it every day. And it's done wonders for phlegm. And I also put my head over a um, boiling, boiling, scalding hot pot of water. Um, and that's for like 15, 20 minutes. That's done wonders as well. Sucking up cough drop. Um, <coughs> I also do have Vicks um, in the drawer right under the camera, so I really don't wanna mess with it right now, but I, I use Vicks mostly at night. Um, this is a Vicks cough drop too. Um, is there anything else? Oh, garlic. For some reason, the garlic cloves that I have this time are humongous. I cut up a garlic clove and I swallow it like an aspirin. I'm kind of a wuss, especially with my throat. Um being sick so um i w ended up uh cut i always cut it like really really thin and then i just swallow quite a few pieces at once and it's it's not bad trust me and it's really really good for you it's a lot better than um pharmaceutical antibiotics it's just it's a lot healthier and it does wonders you know my family will laugh at me they're like, are you sure you don't want something and this time, actually, my mom picked me up a tea. It was a, it tasted really good. But the next morning, I took, I had taken it at, um, right after dinner, I think it was, the night before. And then the next morning, I woke up, and it felt like everything in my head, my nose, and my chest was dried up. I, I described it like. It was almost like phlegm stopped where it was and it was like dry walled and it was like it was hard you could feel it so I automatically just did everything that I showed you and that loosened it up again and I'm on the mend I feel like I doesn't sound like it but I feel so much better than I was I was even worse I'm still definitely not a hundred percent um, but <coughs> better than I was and this stuff works because this isn't the first time that I have used it. Um, I'm around kids a lot, you know, you get sick from that, the change of the seasons, especially into spring, kills me. Um, it really hasn't been as bad as the last couple of years. It's, it used to be terrible um, but I also recommend 
doing the garlic when you just feel like something is coming on as well. And I also do have one thing I did forget. I have um, Sunny Dawn Johnston's I Am Power. Um, essential oil so if you're just starting to feel a little something coming on putting that on your wrists and on your chest does help the other yogi tea that I was drinking besides um, the regular echinacea and this one was the breathe deep one it's eucalyptus tea that helped a lot in breaking everything up so <coughs> excuse me um, yeah I just I really <clears throat> am extremely passionate about holistic health and doing home remedies and I just wanted to share it with you guys gave me an excuse to make another video um, before I'm feeling 100% and yeah I hope it helps like I said I'm gonna have a picture with everything at the end oh I'm remembering some of the other things that are in the picture um, soup after I drink the tea or sometimes during when I'm drinking the tea um, I soup is a must anything that's hot that will open up your lungs and thin out the um, phlegm is a must when you have something in, uh, either a chest cold or bronchitis or a sinus infection anything like that drinking and eating hot fluids is a must and it re I swear it really really does help um but yeah that's it I really hope this helps somebody if you guys have any other questions um please leave them in the comments and oh by the way shout out to Dr. John Bergman none of this stuff necessarily came from him but watching his videos, I was like, hmm, okay, so I've always been doing the right thing. Because he's, he's um, a chiropractor, but he's also done videos on home remedies and things like that. And it's really all about improving your immune system instead of destroying it, which is what a lot of the store-bought you know, or doctor-prescribed things will do to you. Um so the way to curing it even if it gives you some funny looks from your family friends or loved ones you know stick to it i promise it works all right so that's all i wanted to really share with you guys like i said if you have any questions or comments please feel free to ask and i will talk to you guys next week when i'm hopefully feeling even better